And welcome to Otten Math. In this edition of Otten Math, we're going to talk about uh, practice problems involving uh, applying the properties of logs and also using the change of base formula. All right, so here we're going to match the expression with a log that has the same value. So remember, we have the product property just to review the quotient property and also the power property. And let's just do a quick review of all three of those. So I have the product property, log base b of m times n is equal to log base b of m plus log base b of n. So the factors of mn, I separate and I uh, include a add sign. I add them together using the same base. Quotient property log base b of m divided by n is the same as log base b of m minus log base b of n. So again, I have the uh, divisor and the dividend. And then the power property log base b of m to the n is equal to n times log base b of m. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a couple practice problems. First one, log base four, log base 10 of four plus log base 10 of three is the same as log base 10 of 12. So again, I multiply these factors, these two values, four and three together to get my log of 12. So <clears throat> one is gonna be A. 2 log base, log base 10 of 3 minus log base 10 of 4 gives me log base 10 of 3 divided by 4. Excuse me, this is going to be D. So number 1 is D, and let's write that in blue. Uh, and this is going to be A. Then I have uh, 3 log base 10 of 4. So remember, I can use my power property to rewrite this as log base 10 of of 4 to the thirds, which is 4 times 4, 16 times 4 is 64, which is the same as log of 64. So this is going to be C. And I have 4 log uh, 3, which gives me 3 to the fourth. As I use my power property, 3 to the fourth ends up being 81. So I have log of 81. And this one ends up being B. All right, next set of problems. Use log base 10 of 3 to equal 0.477 and log base 10 of 5 to equal 0.699 to evaluate the log. <clears throat> okay, so this one's pretty straightforward. This is going to be 0.699. They've already told us that what that is. Log base 15 is the same as log, I'm sorry, log of 15 is the same as log of 5 plus log of 3. So remember, this is the same as log of 5 times 3, and I can expand this expression using the product property. So I have 0 0.477 uh, plus 0 0.699. And those are in reverse. Log of 3 is equal to 0 0.477. <clears throat> Log of 5 is equal to 0 0.699. And I'm going to add these two values together. Uh, 0.477 along with you, 0 0.699. And that sum is 1.176. And then finally, I have a log of 9, which I can rewrite in two ways. I can either write it as 2 log of 3, or I can write it as log of 3 plus log of 3. So 3 times 3 or 3 squared, either one would work. So let's do both of these separately. I'm going to, well, 2 times log of 3 is log of 3 plus log of 3. So um, I'm going to use 0.477, and I add those two together, 0.477 plus 0.477 leaves me with 0.954, so that's my result. And again, you can rewrite <clears throat> this particular log expression in two ways. Uh, I can rewrite it as log 3 squared, log of 3 squared, or log of 3 times 3, <clears throat> which ends up being log of 3 plus log of 3. All right, next set of problems, expand the expression. <clears throat> I'm going to use my product property here, log base 4 of 5 plus log base 4 of x. Uh, same concept here, I have a common log though, so it's just log of 7 plus log of x. Remember, log 7, <clears throat> x, all in the same line. Then I have log <clears throat> uh, base 8 of x squared. So I use my power property to rewrite it in this format. 
right now I'm going to condense this expression, so I'm going to combine the values. And in number 20, I have log base 7 of 4 times 3, or 12. Next one I have log base 10 of 7x. And then finally I have log, a common log of 3y. So log base 10 of 3y. Remember, not stated if it's 10. Okay, now I'm going to use a change of base formula to evaluate the log. I'm going to round my answer to three decimal places. So simply, this is just log of 5 over log of 7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite each of these equations using the change of base formula. And then I'm going to go back through and do the calculations with you. I can also say that number 30 is going to be the natural log of 14 over the natural log of 3. Or we could say the log of 14 over log of 3. And then finally, I have the log of 7 over the log of 5. So these are all common logs. This one here is a natural log. But using a calculator, very easy. You just use a common log as a base, log of 5 over log of 7. So let's go through and calculate these values to make sure that everybody's got this right. So I have the first one is number 20, 29. Log of 5 divided by log 7 gives me 0.827. And then I can say natural log of 14, or I can say log of 14, write it as log of 14, but in this case I'll just use natural log. It'll come out to be the same answer. Natural log of 14 divided by natural log of 3. And you can try it both ways to see that that's the case. And I come out with an answer of 2.40. And then last is log 7 divided by log of 5. <clears throat> and I'm guessing it's going to be the uh, reciprocal of the first value. So I have log of 7, log 7 divided by log 5, which leaves me an answer of 1.21. If I take this value, 1 divided by 0.827. I get the same number, 1.21. Okay, so that's it. Very straightforward. Change of base formula. Uh, we talked about condensing expression, combining the expressions, using the product property in all these cases. And we talked about expanding uh, the expressions using, in this case, product property, and then the power property. Uh, we use the uh, product property in all three of these cases and also the power property to evaluate the log given a uh, value for the log. And then we used all of our properties. We used the quotient property, we used the product property, and we used the power property in order to determine which one of these four matched which one of these bottom four letters. All right, that's it for uh, practice problems in applying properties of logs and change of base formula.